Jane, is my two o'clock here yet? Good. Send him in. Mr. De Palma. Yeah. I'm Alan Klein. I'm pleased to meet you. I yeah, wish I could say the same. I'm sorry about that. I'm sweating like a goddamn racehorse since I put it's this all right, suit on. It's all right. Why don't you have a seat? Can I offer you a beverage? A coffee, no, a soda? Okay. You sure? It's all right. How about a sandwich? Are you hungry? No, I don't want I'll anything. I'll have Moringo next door, really. It's not a problem. Anything you want. I'm fine. I don't want anything. Okay. <sighs> Mr. De Palma, are you comfortable? Yes, I'm fine. What, 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 what do you want here? I'm asking because you're glowering. I'm what? Glowering. You've got a look on your face like you want to strangle me. It's very disconcerting. Excuse me. Yeah. Ah, uh, right, right, right. I'll talk to him, but Maureen, you've got to hold my calls. I'm sorry, this will just... Marty, what do you want? Yeah, right, sure. Well, I'll tell you, no. Not a chance. <coughs> I'll, I'll tell you what I think, Marty, and this is free advice, so listen well. Get out. Now. Cut your losses. Why? I don't know why, Marty. I can't make decisions for you. Sometimes, sometimes you have to weigh what you will gain from someone as opposed to what you could lose to them. That's right, Marty. Oh, my God, Marty, you're such a Jew. Marty, I have somebody here. I will call you back. That's fine. Marty, I'm hanging up the phone now. I'm hanging up... Schmuck! You're gonna get your client the chair. You're still glowering. This is a problem. Hey, I don't want to be here. I'm sorry I look like I'm not enjoying myself. Nobody's asking you to enjoy yourself. Still, this doesn't have to be painful for you. After all, you're here for my help. Yeah. And I know exactly what you're going through. I doubt that. Oh, you better believe that's true. You are depending on it. You are depending on my experience handling situations just like yours. Well, just like mine. There are no situations just okay, like mine. Okay, maybe the details are slightly different. All the surrounding circumstances are the same, though. And that's what you need my help with anyway. I have been exactly where you are right now. The fuck you have? Excuse me. You heard me. You got no idea where sure I am right I do. now. I don't even know where I am right now. How could I've you? I've been through it before. You have personally or your clients well, my have? my clients have. Fuck that. Have you ever had charges filed against you? Have you ever been no, arrested? No, I haven't. Then you ain't been here. Someone spit on me on the street the other day. Black bitch in my fucking face. Called me a murdering bastard. Her husband got between us just before I could react. Told me I should be ashamed of myself. God damn it, my son was with me. I'm sorry. My life is so upside down and sideways from, from, from this thing. My, I'm trying to go one day without being on the front page of every newspaper in Los Angeles. My wife and kids see that shit, all of it wrong. What are they supposed to think? God, they, they, they could end up hating me if I'm not careful. Are you done? What, done what? Whining and crying. No, I'm not whining. Oh, it sounds like it to me. What would you call it? I'm explaining. And I'm telling you, you don't need to. I've seen it more times than you know. I understand what it's like. You're living in a fishbowl, and I could help you handle it. You called me to set up this meeting, right? You called me. I assume you had a reason other than whining at me and arguing that I can't possibly understand how hard things are for you. Of course, they're hard. You're in major trouble. Nightly news size trouble, front page photo and headline trouble. You need someone in your corner. You need someone to save your life. You called me. I need a good lawyer. No, you don't. You need a great lawyer. You need Clarence Darrow and Daniel Webster tag teaming with Alan Dershowitz and Gregory Peck in To Kill a Mockingbird. You're not going to get them, though. I'm the best that's available. You think you could win this for me? If anyone can, I can. It won't be easy, though. It won't be easy at all. Besides, getting you cleared in court might not be the end of it. The life that you were living before all this happened, you could forget about that now. It's over, done, finished. You have a choice to make about your new life, about how you intend on living it. Mr. De Palma, you could end up in prison. You could even get convicted of murder in the first. This could go federal, get dragged through two or three separate Jesus trials. Jesus Christ. Or I could get you cleared. You could retire and get out of the public eye. Maybe people would forget after time passed. Murder in the first. Yes, it's That's possible. That's insane. This, this isn't about murder. Boy is dead. It's your fault if you did it on purpose. It's murder. The fuck it is. It was self-defense. Not if a prosecutor can prove malice on your part. He drew a gun. And you said something to him. That's what this is about. That's right. Do you remember what you said to yeah. him? Yeah. Exactly what you said to him. Yeah. And did you, Mr. De Palma, call that boy a nigger? Yeah. Yeah. So what? 
So I called some kid a nigger in the heat of the moment. But now I'm this racist monster and this kid is a martyr? Bullshit on that. That kid was a fucking punk who'd have shot me if I gave him half a chance. I did my job. If that's the truth, then you have no problem. Then I got no problem. I have to admit, I was a bit surprised to get your call. I've been following your case in the papers. Yeah, all that stuff in the papers, it's all bullshit. I thought the department already had an attorney assigned to your case. Yeah, fuck the department and their lawyer. Guy was a rat prick. Getting at me from the minute I met him. Goddamn Hindu guy. Dom Rashnu, some shit like that. His whole attitude was that I was wrong, and the easiest thing to do would just be roll over and apologize. They, they made me see the police shrink, too. Oh, that is standard procedure following a shooting. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. That's right. I was a cop <laughs> 10 years in Chicago, 11 years here in L.A. They can't get behind me on this thing? Fuck them. So how'd you come up with my name? Well, I watch TV. I seen you on the news. You're starting to get quite a rep for yourself. Well, I have been involved in a few high-profile You're a cases. camera hound. Admit it. All right. That's fine. <laughs> I know you play to win. That's what I want. Besides, I like your name, Klein good Jew name. Okay. I'm sure you don't work for free, though, so how much is this going to set me Well, back? my billing average is $300 per hour. $300 per yeah, hour. Yeah, but you know what? For a case like yours, I might be able to work something You're out. You're getting fucking rich, aren't Yes, you? I do well. You do better than well. That's fine. I respect that. It's not a crime to get rich. Just what exactly are you getting at, Mr. De Palma? Nothing. Really, because if you plan to sit there and make anti-Semitic comments... What? What? What I say? A good Jew name like that has anything to do with my ability as an attorney. Now, give me a fucking break. You should be glad I think that way. I came to you because I want a Jew lawyer. Just like everyone in Beverly Hills wants a spick gardener. Different people do different things well. It's a fact. So that's it then. I'm a Jew. I must be a good lawyer. Yo, don't get lazy or nothing. I oh, mean, we're no. a long way from trial, and sure. I still haven't decided if I want you to represent me or not. You sound pretty sure of yourself. What makes you think I won't just turn your case down? Two things. Money and prestige. You take on a case like this and you win, your price goes up and your reputation grows a little more. You could write a book about it, sell the movie rights. I could make you. <laughs> you want this case and you want to win. This is a constitutional question with you on the side of right. How can you not get involved? <laughs> what makes you say this is a constitutional question? Freedom of fucking speech. It's a little more complicated than that. Not really. I drew on a kid in self-defense. He had a gun. He was going to shoot me. He ignored all my requests for him to freeze. I shot him because I had to, just like I was trained to do. That's what you said? That's the truth. So what if it is you did call that boy a nigger? Was that before or after you shot him? Uh, both, I think. Uh-huh, and is that why you shot him? Because he was black? Nope. Are you sure about You're that? You're starting to sound like that rat prick from the department. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. Oh, it would make everything so easy if that's how it was. Now, the big, bad, racist cop shoots the poor little black boy. Boo fucking who. You bet it's all bullshit. That's what the witnesses are well, saying. Well, witnesses are going to tell you what my goddamn motives were? Huh? They're going to tell you what, what, what's in my heart? They don't know what they saw. They know what they heard. They'll remember you saying, nigger freeze, I will blow your stupid nigger head off. Do you remember that? They black or white? Who? The witnesses. I don't think it matters. Of course it does. Niggers are going to circle up. They're going to close ranks. They're going to say, I dropped the hammer on that kid in cold blood. White witnesses, they're going to see him as a fucking animal that he was, and they're going to thank him. It's me. not as black and white as you think it is. So what color were they? They were African-American. The fucking pussy answer, African-American, African-American. African-American ain't a color. The fucking niggers don't appreciate what I did for him. That kid was a lump of shit, oh. a nothing. How could you possibly know oh, that? Oh, be serious. What, he wasn't going to cure cancer? He wasn't going to be the next motherfucking president? He probably couldn't even bounce a basketball. All he was going to do was keep on stealing. He was no fucking good. I did him a favor taking him off the street. But he wasn't a brother to them, he was a fucking burden. And I lightened the goddamn load. So where's the gratitude, huh? Listen to you! You're amazing! You have an entire black community out there shouting for your head on a stick. 
You would like them to throw you a parade. Now, you've got some set of balls, Mr. DePaul. Because I'm on the side of right, and justice will prevail. I have prevail. to wonder if you have any idea what you're up against. There are a lot of pissed off people out there that want to see you in jail. Maybe worse, a lot of people are saying an eye for an eye, a life for a life. Over what? Over some I fucking said? Yes! I was doing my job. Oh, that's what Joseph Mengele, oh. Kurt Waldheim said. I was doing my job. Now, fuck you. You calling me a Nazi no, no, now? I'm just telling you how it's I'm sounds. a cop. I do what I have to do to get the job done. And, and what is your job? To protect and serve. Protect and serve? Who do you protect? Who do you protect serve? Protect and serve whoever needs whoever it. Whoever needs it, you protect black people. All the time. Mexicans, Asians. I don't care what fucking color religion they because are. Because you use words like nigger and spick. I don't understand. Are you a racist, Mr. De Palma? Fuck you. Fuck you if that's how you plan on responding call me in court. A racist. The judge don't will have vocations for your language. Don't call me a racist. I'm so sick of that word being thrown around like a fucking football. I am what I was raised to be. It don't mean nothing. It's not just the words you use. It's how you use them. You're so full of hate. Goddamn right I am. I hate criminals. I got every right to hate them. You could meet all the shitbag criminals I've had to deal with day to fucking day. You would know where it comes from. I know what I've seen. I know what the real world is like. There are major differences between people. Does that make me a racist to point that out? I tell you what, Sal. Maybe this will put you at ease. I don't think you need to worry about the court case too much. I think you've got a valid angle. Hell, I think you're going to win. You do. Boy had a weapon. Self-defense, end of story, right? Right, that's what I've been saying. Wrong, you have a filthy mouth. You cannot say fuck every other sentence in court. Fine. And you know what? I don't think you could say nigger either. Uh, what do you think I should say? Well, the preferred term is African-American. Bullshit. African American. Bullshit. Bullshit on that. See, they've been trying the same shit at work with the sensitivity training seminars and pamphlets on better race relations. Watch what you say. Watch how you say it. Watch who you say it to. It's all shit. They're just words. It don't mean nothing. At least I say what I say. At least I say what I mean. You don't understand how important no, this I is. I get it. All right, I got trouble. I know why, too. It's because of who I am. Middle class, white, Catholic. I'm the minority now. Right? I'm the new nigger. What are you talking about? What, what am I talking about? The whole world has been handed over to the blacks, the Mexicans, the chinks. Everybody's got programs to protect them, groups to help them. Everybody except me. It makes me fucking sick. If anybody else was being treated like this, they'd be raising hell, screaming, crying, where's mine? Ah! Where the fuck is mine? Well, you don't hear us crying, though, do you? Hell no. So I still got pride in myself. I got a problem, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fix it. Mr. De Palma, I cannot help you. Then fuck you. Who needs your help? Yeah, I'm giving you a chance here, and all you can think to do is back down and lie. You might be able to live your life like that, but not me. I'm so sick of being railroaded, pushed around by special interests. Would you at least you make the effort? Everybody's Would you at least use opinion. the words that they want you to use? An effort like that, you could sway a jury. Why should I worry about swaying a jury? All I have to do is tell the truth. You wish. This trial has already begun months before you step foot in a courtroom. You're being tried by every single person who reads, watches, or hears anything about this case. You've heard some of the names people have for you. Killer. Hate cop. You're being tried by the new American justice system. You do know who the real Supreme Court justices are today, don't you? Tom Brokaw. Peter Jennings. Dan Rather. Connie Chung. The news is reality. Whether it is or not. Well, what's that supposed to mean? It means what it means. People accept what they hear and see and read as fact if it's in the newspapers. If it's on the television, it must be true. People will believe it's true, and that's enough. Mr. De Palma, if you want to win this case, you've got to make people believe in you. You've got to project the image that you want them to see. It's all about perception. If you sound like you're sorry, no. maybe people no. will listen to you. They'll no. take what you have to say seriously. No, they can listen if they want. I'm here. I'm talking. Doesn't matter what words I use. They're going to be wrong to someone. Right? Besides, fucking niggers can't make up their mind what they want to be called. No. Today, they're African-American. Uh -huh. A couple of years ago, they were black. It's all the same goddamn thing. These whiny, fucking loudmouths call themselves leaders of the black community. Black community, what a fucking joke. There are no leaders. They just keep going around in circles, screaming about how everyone else is the reason their lives are no fucking good. Like it's my fault? 
They, they should take a lesson from, from, from you Jews. I mean, you guys been through some serious shit and you're still here. The Nazis couldn't get you, the Egyptians couldn't get you, nobody could kill you, you're fucking indestructible. You guys went out, you did what you had to do. I admire that. Niggers though, they're always pointing the finger at someone else. Like it's an organized thing. They set themselves up for failure and then they say it's our fault. Bullshit, I say. Don't point your finger at me, point it right back at your fucking self because that's where the problem is. I can't believe what's coming out of your mouth. Oh, you've had these. No! Oh, you may have dressed them up in your post-60s liberal white guilt, but you've these had These people it. have every right to be heard. They just want what's fair. They got it. All they have to do is take wow. it. Get a fucking education. Get a fucking job. Be a productive member of society. I'll be glad to treat you like a neighbor. Then it's Those fair. Those things are not available to everybody. You cannot blame somebody's environment on them. They didn't create their world. They do have to live in it, though. Look, you say I can't judge you. That's fine. Don't judge them until you have to live like them. See, that shows what you fucking know. You don't have any idea what I've seen, what I've been through. See, I don't have to explain myself to anyone. Now, you liberals love to hoot and holler about the First Amendment, how we have to protect it as long as it's convenient for you. The minute you hear something you disagree with, it's a whole different story. I want to call some kid a nigger, that's my fucking business, as long as it doesn't get in the way of the job. You can't say shit to me about the words I use. This is America. And I'm protected, just like they are, just like you. You don't like what I'm saying? So fuck you. <laughs> fuck everyone. This is who I am, and I will not apologize to anyone. Do you even care about winning? Of course, I plan on it. I don't see how. After what I just heard, you don't stand a chance in court. You said you could do it. What? Win. You won't listen to me. Okay, fine. I'll listen. I know where you should start. Where? Image. What about it? Change it. Oh, so you want me to what? Pretend to be someone I'm not? Yes, I do. I want you to be aware of how people react to you. I want you to use the media to help you instead of letting it hurt you. Get the papers on your side. Use TV to argue your case. You say you acted in self-defense. Convince me. Convince us all you were heard using certain words, Mr. De Palma. Certain inflammatory words. Oh, the prosecution is going to use that against you. They're going to claim that the only reason that boy drew his weapon was fear. He sees you chasing him. He hears you call out, nigger freeze, or I will blow your stupid nigger head off. What's he going to do? He's going to run, whether he's guilty or not. This is Los Angeles. Post-Rodney King, post-riots, this boy has grown up scared, worried every single day of his life that the color of his skin is going to get him killed. They're going to claim that, that the only reason that boy drew his gun was fear. They're going to claim that, that, that the only reason you shot him was because he was black, no, and you no, hated him for no, that. No, then you prove it. Then you prove true. it to that's me. That's not true. All I've heard since you walked in my office is nigger this, is nigger that. You've proven to me that you're capable of doing this for the wrong reasons. You seem like a racist. Do you know what that kid did? I really don't care. You're a racist. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. Everything matters. Every detail. The kid was a little sack of shit. That's what you say. His mama says he was a saint, and the media seems to be on her side, so you just shot yourself a saint, Oh, who fucking cares? Everybody, you're not listening to me. The media is public opinion. They shape it, they feed it, and they reflect it. You should care, you stupid racist asshole. Yo, you call me a racist oh, again, Clyde. Does that name bother you, racist? Because it's just a name. Are you racist? Fuck. 
funny. One word, it gets it gets all personal fuck with you. you. I mean, I could call you a wop. Shut Mr. the fuck DePaul. up. I could call you uh, Shut. an eenie. Shut I can start talking about your mama. Shut your. Your mama is mouth. a wop eenie whore. Shut your fucking mouth, you little hymie fuck. Fuck you. It's just words. Freedom of speech. Right? Are you, uh, uh, making a point here? <laughs> Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words do permanent damage. <laughs> oh, am, am, am I supposed to see the light now, Klein? What do you think this is? What, Perry fucking Mason? I'm not going to have a change of heart and suddenly confess all my sins. I'm right. And that sets me free. You'll get one hell of a fight. I can take it. Oh, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that one bit. I have a feeling you might be looking forward to this in some perverse way. You want to argue this. You want your chance to talk. Goddamn right Well, I you do. can't win, not your the way. The fuck I can't. You won't be allowed. You stepped over the line and you're not sorry. I can't believe what a coward you are. You're so scared. Most lawyers would see this as a challenge, something to fucking fight for. Most would. I have to sleep at night. You sound like you're afraid of trying. I'm not afraid. I do know my business, though, and I can see you have a hard road ahead of you. A very hard road. It doesn't have to be this hard. My God, I would love to make it easier on you, but I will not go your route with you. All right. How? How, 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 how? How can I make this easier? You can start by saying you're sorry. Oh, there's got to be another way. There's got to be another way. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. Just I like can't. that. I can't say that. I feel like a liar when I say that. I'm glad I shot him. He deserved it. And how am I supposed to hide the fact that it fucking delights me that he's dead? <laughs> you think about what happens to you if this trial doesn't go your way. You think about the possibility of doing time, hard time, in a federal pen, with men that you arrested. Men who are going to come looking for you. Lamb chop. <laughs> are you trying to scare me, Klein? Yes. Oh, good luck. You'd have to come up with something truly disturbed to have any effect on me. <laughs> See, I'm saddened by the shit I've seen. And it makes me think we ain't got much of a future. But that kid I shot, he was what? 14 years old? He was a baby. Man, when I was 14, I was you out. You grew up in a different world. Oh, did I? Was it the world that changed? Or was it the kids? He was a regular, full-time, fucking gangster. No respect for nobody. That kid and all the other kids like him, that's the future. You wonder why I hate? Haven't I earned it? It's the only thing that keeps me going back out there cleaning that fucking toilet every day. I hate what's going on, and I'm going to keep hating it. 
until it changes. You? You have to change. There's got to be a way. What? What? Give me an option, please. Something that has a prayer of working. I will do it gladly, but you got to give me something, though. Some reason to try. I'm right. You show everyone what that kid was really like. You say his mom is running around talking about what a perfect little angel her baby was. You got to show everyone how wrong she is. You think the TV or papers cares who's right or wrong here? No, all they care about is drama. That's right. That's right. They got to have a bad guy right now. It's me. You can give them a real bad guy. You tell them the truth about the kid. You tell them what he did. You tell them why I was chasing him. You tell me. The news has skipped that little detail, haven't they? What did he do? A random act of violence. Spur the moment. Did it without thinking, the way he did everything. Robbed an old woman, an Italian lady, about 70 years old. He rolled up on her while she was pulling money out of an ATM. She, she probably never saw him coming. He pushes her down from behind. She probably breaks something when she hits the pavement, so she's no threat. No threat whatsoever. This is going on right out in the open, but, but no, no, nobody cares. No. The kid takes the money. Now all he has to do is take off. That's all he has to do. The money's his. He, he can't do that, though. He, 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 has, to, he has to hurt her. He has to mark her. He has to touch her just to prove the whole thing was real. Otherwise, it could just be something he remembered from TV. So he takes a knife. He sticks it into her face. He pulls it down the line of her nose over through one of her eyes. He loses his grip on the knife. It's too slick with her blood. He lets it go. Now, now people are looking, starting to pay attention. And this old woman is laying there screaming, crying for help. He steps on her. Until right, she stops making noise. And he walks off. That's, that's how I saw him. He was just strolling. Like he had nowhere to go. Not a fucking worry in the world. He's got this old woman's blood all over his shoes, and he's leaving these marks everywhere he steps. Jesus oh, he felt good, this kid. You could see it on him, like he had just gotten laid. He hurt her because it made him feel alive. You should tell that to the jury. She never made it to the fucking hospital. What, and I'm the animal? But I'm the bad guy? Tell me the truth, Sal. Why did you shoot that boy? Because I had to. You said he was just strolling when you first saw him. That's right. I'm in my car. I'm on break. I see this kid walking towards me on the sidewalk. I'm looking at these marks he's leaving, thinking, what's all over this kid's shoes? When two things happen at the same time. One, my radio goes off. It's the officer calling from the scene of the stabbing. She's already got an ID from some of the witnesses, and it's this kid, the one standing two feet away from me. All right? I go for my door. At the same time, all this is going on. The kid makes me, sees me see him. Before I can even get the door open, this kid's gone, and he's like the fucking wind. Okay, I'm out of the car, I'm after him. I still got a visual on him. He's way out in front of me. Like I said, this kid's feet aren't even touching the pavement. He's moving so fast. I know that there's no way I'm gonna catch him. He's moving like fucking Jesse Owens. I, I can't even breathe. Did you yell at him to stop? Are you fucking kidding me? That's all I'm doing the whole time. I'm chasing him. I'm screaming at him to stop. Why did you scream? Police exactly. officer, freeze. That's I, it. I don't know, I, I call him a piece of shit. 
I told him I'd shoot his dick off. I said lots of things. What am I supposed to do? The kid's getting away. There's nothing I can do about it. He was it. that far ahead of you. How did you catch up to him? This stupid fucker, he made a mistake. He made a dodge down a blind alley, and before he could get out, I caught up to him and blocked the way. And that's when you drew your gun. Goddamn straight it is. And that kid turned around. He had a look in his eyes. I've seen it before. I was nothing but a fucking obstacle in his way. He wasn't going to waste his time talking to me. What did you say to him? So you, 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 don't, you don't know what it's like. You, 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 you've never been in this position. You have no idea. Everything, everything slows down. Every noise fades out. All you can hear is the sound of your own breathing. Kid turned around. He had a look on his face like something out of some horror movie. It was so cold, ice fucking cold. I don't, even, I don't even remember pulling the gun out. It's just in my hands, pointed at that kid's heart, and I say, freeze, nigger, I'll, uh, I'll blow you away. Don't move. He smiles like he ain't scared of me at all, like, like he don't even see the gun. And then he takes a step back, and he plants himself like he's getting ready for a duel, and my hands are slick with sweat. I, I, I can barely keep them still. I say, don't. Don't fuck with me, kid. Don't you fuck with me. Don't do it. He keeps moving his hands. He's reaching, reaching behind him. And I'm screaming, put your hands on your head, nigger. I will shoot you if you don't. He just keeps reaching and reaching and reaching. And I think to myself, fine. This is what you want, then it's what I want too. Give me a reason. One little bit of the problem down, all I have to do is pull the trigger. I squeeze off three shots. The kid drops without a sound. He's, he's laying there and the, the Time comes crashing back in all around me. I, I, I hear the sound of sirens getting closer. I, I, I hear people yelling. I can smell gunpowder burning my eyes. You know, I, I feel it burning my nose. And I walked up and bent over to look at that kid's face. and All that menace. All that cold I felt pouring off him. There was nothing there now. He was gone. You, you tell me, Klein. If you were in that alley, just you and that kid, what would you have done? Would you let him shoot you, or would you choose life? See, everyone wants to judge me. Here's your chance. See, you, you tell me. What would you have done? Him or you? Don't, don't just sit there staring at me. You tell me what the fuck you would have done. Would you have shot him? You or him? You, you, you tell me! No offense, Mr. De Palma, but I think you're garbage wrapped in skin. I listen to you and I hear hate, the real thing. Not a casual inherited hate, but an actual active loathing. That boy that you shot, 
is not the only one who has lost all respect for others. Just what exactly are you supposed to stand for, Mr. De Palma? Law and order. I did what I had to do. If you can't understand I that... I understand th perfectly. Better than you do, probably. See, I pity you. Carol, when did you have your big moral climb? It's an overall feeling. It's a fucking waste of time. I'm sorry about Fuck that. Fuck you! Okay? I was straight with you. I'm trying to be the same with you. Hey, shut the fuck up. I don't care what you fucking think. I don't care what anyone thinks. I know. I know who's right here. Fucking waste of time to think a Jew to understand anyway. I would have shot him. That's right. I would have shot him. But I didn't. You did. My reasons would be different from yours. I would have wanted to help that boy. See if there was anything left to save. All you want is to get rid of them. Them. All you want is to get rid of all of them. And that is what makes you different from me. And you want me to represent you, Mr. De Palma. Be here Monday morning at 9 o'clock. What? It's like you said, it's a constitutional question with me on the side of right. How can I not get involved? Yeah, but all that shit you said to me, all this Won't stuff... be the first time I've defended filth. Won't be the last time either. Oh, well, how can I thank you? Don't bother. Pay me. That's enough. Monday morning. Nine o'clock. 